watch your step. It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. And here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. See, as long as you're breathing, you got a shot at your dream. That's the way I resolve. Say this, please. It's not over. Until I win. Until I win. You've got that right. <laughs> Before April 1954, the common belief, the universal belief, because it had been tried again and again and again and people had failed, the belief was that man was not physically capable of breaking the four-minute barrier, that he could not run a mile in less than four minutes. That was the belief on the planet. It had never been done. But here's what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Roger Bannister came along, and he broke the four-minute barrier. Now, here's what's significant about that. Since that time, up to this day, over 20,000 people have done it, including high school kids. What changed? 20,000 people, what changed? Here's what happened when they got on the track. They knew it had been done. And because they knew it had been done, there was a new belief about this barrier, about this goal that was unreachable. And those 20,000 people got in the race believing, knowing in their heart that someone had done it, that it's possible, that they could do it. And I'm saying that if you know anybody that had some goal, some dream, something they wanted to do, and they did it, then I'm saying that you know in your heart that if someone has done it, then you can do it, it's possible. But it was challenging, but I did it. Repeat after me, please. No matter how bad it is, or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. Shake somebody's hand on your right and left and say, you got that right. Repeat after me, please. It's possible. I can have my dream. I can get what I want. I must be creative and never give up. I don't believe that the, necessity, that necessity is the mother invention of invention. No. Necessity, in my opinion, is not the mother of invention. Refusing to accept things the way that they are is the mother of invention. When you decide, I'm not going to settle for this. This is not going to be it for my life. I deserve more than this. Day is gone where you could just go to college and get out. And, and get a job and work 30 or 40 years with job security and retire with a gold watch. The gold watch days are gone. Brand new day, party's over. So now you have got to be multi-talented and multi-skilled. You've got to use all your stuff. You don't know what else you can do. I didn't know I can do what I'm doing right now. It's necessary that you stretch and challenge yourself and say, let me see. I start out as a trainer. I'm a trainer. That's what I am. That's what my expertise was in. And then I decided, let me see, can I speak? And then I discovered, hey, I can do that. What if I hadn't tried to do that, just been satisfied with just being a trainer, with the limited vision of myself? And then after training, and then I said, well, maybe I can go into business for myself. And I started speaking, going into business for myself. Well, maybe I could train other speakers and teach them how to go into business for themselves. So you want to have a backup plan. You want to have other strategies for yourself. In case this doesn't work out, you've got something else going over here. You don't have something that's called the Chinese bamboo tree. The Chinese bamboo tree takes five years to grow. And when they go through a process of growing it, they have to water and fertilize the ground where it is every day. And it doesn't break through the ground until the fifth year 
okay? But once it breaks through the ground, within five weeks, it grows 90 feet tall. Now the question is, does it grow 90 feet tall in five weeks or five years? The answer is obvious. It grows 90 feet tall in five years. Because at any time, had that person stopped watering and nurturing and fertilizing that dream, that bamboo tree would have died in the ground. And I can see people coming out talking to a guy out there watering and fertilizing the ground that's not showing anything. Hey, what you doing? You've been out here a long time, man. And the conversation in the neighborhood is, you growing a Chinese bamboo tree, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, even Ray Charles and Stephen Wonder can see ain't nothing showing. You know that's how people are gonna do you? So how long you been working on this? How long have you been working on your dream? It's good. And you have nothing to show. This is all you got to show? People are gonna do that to you. And some people, ladies and gentlemen, they stop. Because they don't see instant results. It doesn't happen quickly. They stop. Oh no, 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 no. You got to keep on watering your dream. And when it began to happen, they stop laughing. They said, look. Whoa, look, look at it. Look at Hey, man, you know, I know you can do it. Look at it. You got a job here? <laughs> see, see, during those hard times, we didn't know how you're going to make payroll during those times when you fail and, and, and things didn't work out. They were, they were nowhere to be found. You know what I discovered? When you're working at your dream, somebody said, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. Oh, it's sweet to you. It's good to you. Why? See, when, you, when it's hard and there's a struggle, see, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. People know that you know what life is, that you have embraced life. You knew it was hard, but you did it hard. Remember, we have so much energy that can take us so far. It's necessary that you hook up with some other energy that can take you to the next level. I hooked up with them, they said, let's, let's go. I said, away we go. Guess what? Here we are.